is Jenny Brandt with Unleash Your God-Given Healing. Let's look at unexpected ways plastics may be entering our bodies. Would you like a little sugar or cream with your coffee or tea? Or how about a small dash of microplastics too? I'd never thought about this possibility until my 10-year-old coffee pot died and I had to replace it with another one. After all these years of drinking coffee, I'd never examined the inside makings of my coffee maker. As I was throwing it out, I suddenly realized that my hot water was being boiled in plastic and my coffee was being brewed through plastic too. So I began shopping for a coffee pot that had stainless steel in both of these places instead of plastics. My tea was made in this same coffee pot. And after I got my new stainless steel coffee percolator, I began brewing my tea in a stainless steel pot on the stove. Then one day in a restaurant, I ordered hot tea and I noticed that the bag it was brewed in was literally made of plastic mesh. Natalie Tavinci, a chemical engineer and researcher, wondered the same thing when she noticed her tea bag was made of the same plastic mesh as she lowered it into the hot water. As a professor of chemical engineering at McGill University in Canada, she wondered what happened to the plastic mesh as it soaked in the hot boiling water. So she decided to use her research skills to find out. Interestingly enough, her research is now published in Environmental Science and Technology. You see, her research revealed that steeping a single plastic tea bag at a brewing temperature of 95 degrees Celsius released approximately 11.6 billion microplastics and 3.1 billion nanoplastics into a single cup of beverage. Wow, things we need to know. My mind immediately went back to my old coffee pot and the fact that it was boiling the water in plastic and brewing through plastic to collect in my glass container. I felt much safer after buying my stainless steel coffee percolator. Then I started thinking about the individually brewed one cup Keurig coffee makers, where the coffee is brewed through a plastic container. Oh my, plastics are simply everywhere. And hot water and heat only increases the leaching of the plastics. But never fear, a better way is always here. So here are several ways to remedy this problem we find ourselves faced with in this culture. Number one, buy a coffee pot that boils and brews in stainless steel. It should also store the coffee in glass or stainless steel. Remember this next time your coffee pot dies, replace it with a cleaner brewing machine. And here is mine, my percolator that is stainless steel inside and out and all the parts inside where all the boiling and brewing takes place. Number two, only use paper mesh tea bags or loose tea in stainless steel devices. This is what I now use that my daughter-in-law gave me glass and steel to brew my tea in. And here is another one. All these good things. Because tea is good for you and it has so many great antioxidants in it. You want to drink tea. Just do it without plastics. Number three, use Keurig pods that contain paper mesh rather than plastic. You can still use your Keurig. Just buy different pods. Gorilla pods can be bought on Amazon, or a simple stainless steel pod that you actually put your own coffee in. 
Again, like we said, where there's a will, there is a way. Number four, use a steel pot to heat your boiling water in as you make your coffee. Try to avoid boiling it in the microwave. And so now, this is what I use. This steel pot boils it in just amount of time as I could do it in the microwave. But if you do it in the microwave, make sure it's in a glass or ceramic mug. I hope this information hasn't ruined your day. I always like to give practical solutions. Thankfully, there are practical solutions for lowering our exposure to plastics, even in this crazy day. We can drink our tea and coffee with a little sweetener and cream and leave out the dash of plastics. This is something our ancestors never had to worry about. Doesn't seem fair, does it? Does anyone have any practical suggestions in this area? Has anyone found another good coffee pot that brews without plastics? Please share in the comments below so we can help and encourage each other. I've made several videos on plastics, three to be exact, and they are referenced in the show notes below. You will want to listen to all three. I hope this information has been helpful for you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, share it, and click the three dots to be notified when I post new information. Until then, here's to your coffee or your tea without that dash of plastics. Yes, here's to your good health and God bless.